Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to peek around my shoulder as I uh, play stuff once again. Uh, okay, I, I'll do it like in a confession format. It's been a while since I since my last recording, and hence I think uh, I'm quite rusty and um, also uh, I'm, I'm not quite used to talking while doing stuff and uh, I'm not used to headphones and all that shit and uh, my main uh, gaming output uh, for a month or so has been error uh, reports uh, and so uh, much talking there to try to pick up my recording habit uh, with the oldie goodie thingy. Uh, it's uh, not my first time to play so it's, uh, it's, it's not like I'm opening everything like uh, totally new information but uh, one thing I can tell it's something that I can uh, I can use as a great indicator uh, for my own uh, mental capabilities is uh, how well I can uh, I can follow text-heavy games. For example, uh, when I first uh, uh, when I first tried Fallout, then uh, when the first uh, dialogue screen opened up, it felt like a smack in my head because it was. So much text, so much information. I hadn't really uh, familiar like familiarized myself with all the interface and everything. So that's it's something that uh, I go through in the beginning of every game, including uh, including the games uh, where I become good at. Okay, so here's my crew. Here, here's me. Oh, I forgot. Uh, to pick a name, which is very fitting, since I'm um, sort of maybe planning to do a thing on uh, Planescape as well. And uh, one thing I noticed in this game is that uh, I've been able to do stuff quite fast. I remember from the first game that uh, it took quite a while to even make it to the necropolis and uh, and uh, also it took quite a while to get the parts uh, for the water plant, but now look. Ta-da! Just found a pile of junk from down in the catacombs. Uh, I, I can't remember uh, what time it was uh, the first time I tried all this. But, uh, I remember it took quite a, while, quite a while to make it into hub and uh, it took even more time to earn the money to uh, get the caravan to buy me some more time and now I'm here. Okay, but let's go back down there. Okay. First, uh, main thing that uh, was very hard for me to get used to was this uh, flipping between the uh, uh, different cursor functions. And uh, when I when I picked up uh, good old uh, Fallout again a few few days ago, then uh, that was the first thing I had trouble adjusting with as well. Okay. But no, I can't remember if these fellers down here 
que constellar on the boat. Anyway. Sure that you have to. Like, I don't know. It's, it's not like you have to chase out all the creatures and uh, and uh, pick up all the shit. It's okay to just leave some buggers alone and, uh, and leave some stuff alone, or at least not uh, not carry it around all the time because. Uh, You get some uh, digital hoarder tendencies, and uh, I do like me some sweet trophy items, but, uh, but when I uh, when I just keep everything and try to carry around everything, it's getting I don't know crowded. So right now I'm trying to. Sort of. Yeah, okay. Right now I have stuff that I want to sell. And I'm already at the limit of my carry weight. But uh, when I head out, then uh, I try to keep my inventory weight down uh, as much as I can. Uh, this is actually one of those principles that uh, I, do I adopted. Uh, Stalker games as well. It's that at first to try to pick up everything, carry everything. Let's check this out first. Uh, keep everything, collect everything, and at some point. Or at least when you when you've already done it once, <laughs> then you see how pointless that can be. Or well, I, at least I I have found out that it feels quite pointless to sort of uh, gather everything. try to sort of uh, keep an eye on, well, keep in mind what I can use something for. So if I if I need all this ammo for this gun, then I should carry it around. Although I think I should start uh, leaving some stashes for myself. And uh, at the same time. Uh, I have already left some uh, uh, some potential trophy items uh, in the lockers and things. Are these going to ignore us?
Okay. Just save over the same game. Just leave these fellows to me. to talk my way past the super mutants on my way in but I'm not sure I will be that lucky on my way out. So yeah, half the stuff that's sort of mandatory to do, I don't know in the first place and half the other stuff that's sort of mandatory to do, I don't quite remember. So I guess it, it would probably be a big no-no to just leave those mutants be there. Here. Oh yeah, the game tries try to tell me that I'm not strong enough to use this gun properly. Looks properly for me. Or maybe it's only when, uh, when I'm tired or something. I don't know. Okay. I don't think I can get past to the other part. Of it. Somehow, I, I remember from my first game that uh, then again uh, I managed to use uh, junk uh, to do the repairs and, uh, and I didn't get uh, the junk before I had been to, I think, uh, Boneyard and uh, did someone's uh, mission there the death claw and almost uh, uh, well not almost and missed the junk that it dropped but now I just found some line here go here my pleasure Uh, this is the digital version 
It's the game uh, from Good Old Games. I, I do have it on, on disc as well, and the disc version uh, had some buggy stuff going on, but uh, it seems to have been resolved uh, in the digital thingy. idea that I wanted to do some caravan jobs in the hub and uh, since uh, none of the wait, none of the dates uh, were within my immediate range and I would have just had to wait around and I decided to come here. Let's see if I make it to the hub by the third. Then I could try to do the crimson caravan job. Let's explore a little. to the uh, music. <laughs> As much as that, uh, if you spend uh, too much time loitering around, then it uh, affects some of the outcomes as far as uh, super mutants go. But I wonder if that thing only starts once you uh, once you have delivered the chip and updated it. Uh, Updated your uh, well, whatever. <laughs> so something's going on. I I don't know what's uh, what's influencing my uh, my data here. I think I might have had a thing with buff out, but I don't see any active editions. I don't know. Anyway, the main map uh, music and uh, the hub theme are sort of the pace setters. behavior pattern in my games is that I sort of start out uh, uh, start checking out different uh, different quest lines or different uh, possible problems or tasks but I sort of leave them hanging so I'm not entirely sure what I should do about uh, Bob and uh, and uh, uh, Dr. Was it Morbid? Morbid duck, uh, duck uh, down in uh, Junk Town. Oh, yeah, but I. Oh, okay, that's just it.
if she hasn't got caps. Well, the discount is useless to me, so... Okay. Right now, I'm quite well hung on ammo and stuff. So, I'm just gonna have to trade the guns for drugs. I remember uh, again uh, the first time I started out. Uh, Playing. I was so hopelessly clueless. Uh, the uh, the uh, layout of the map, or well, the, the map logic and the uh, movement logic, and where you can find uh, the uh, uh, map transfer areas and that stuff. It's, uh, somehow and uh, I missed uh, a lot of content this way. Maybe not in Fallout 1 but I uh, you know in, in Fallout 2. Is it this one? Yeah, here we go again. Navigation. Can't find the right house. Why? Why do I feel very nauseous? This must be okay. I didn't ask this before. <laughs> when I uh, have sort of a uh, general, uh, general uh, idea of, of the uh, tones, uh, well, the, most of locations uh, layout, even now it's uh, quite difficult to find the right house sometimes. I think I have enough hunter. No. I don't think I have enough hunter. Let's see, maybe two more of these. And two more of these. Oh, and he's out of regular steam packs because. Well, probably because I bought them all. Let's see, two more. Another thing I don't remember from my first game uh, is that uh, I, 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 it, I can't remember making so much money so fast. So it's, uh, and uh, I think the first game uh, was played on default settings, but now I set everything to top difficulty, so I don't really know what's going on. Maybe I'm just being more vigilant. Uh, Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, more vigilant in picking up stuff. Well, 
I agree it's a good trade. saves because so, I'm, I'm used to doing that sort of trading myself uh, a set of tra uh, trade of breadcrumbs or uh, or stepping stones uh, that I can go back to when I screw up somewhere Lorenzo here sort of uh, hang around a little while more and maybe until I have 100 days left and then, then take the chip back oh yeah and I accidentally resolved one quest already well I haven't even direction uh, I should take. So the options I have is one is to deliver the chip and uh, move on to the next stage of the game. So option two is uh, do some caravan jobs. Especially I'm watching out for February the 3rd. Uh, that's when uh, Crimson Caravan job is happening. That I can't remember much, but uh, I sort of, sort of have some vague idea about the stuff that was happening later on. But let's see. Oh heck, I'm just gonna deliver the chip. Let's see what happens next. So save here.
want to take a little detour so that I can uh, explore the main map. a special kind of uh, mm, challenge to leave stuff behind. For example, I, uh, I didn't take the, uh, uh, the stone uh, in bookshelf in Shady Shands. Shady Sands. That page is still to explore. thing I can say uh, about this uh, handling stuff or repairing or activating stuff uh, or seeing uh, seeing how the player activates uh, stuff in, uh, in Fallout I mean, in the first person Fallouts it's uh, sort of changed my perception on uh, doing stuff in real life as well it's like when I am going to operate the sink, then uh, I instinctively take the handling pose. I'm waving my hands in the air now. Okay, save the game. the uh, uh, post recording too. Maybe in the next one I, <coughs> I will be more fluent uh, with the game as well as with commenting and stuff. So bye bye and see you some other time.